Welcome back. Let's have a look at matters examinations and the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education, that is KCPE exams results, will be released by the end of this month in order to allow for one placement done before Christmas. Now, Basic uh, Education Principal Secretary Dr. Belio Kipsang says the move is meant to allow parents enough time to plan and prepare for school fees and other requirements. Meanwhile, the government has defended the credibility of the ongoing KCSE exams pointing out that having just seven principals out of 11,000 suspended for exam practices is enough proof that exams are credible. Shadrach Miti with the details. With recent reports of several center managers, supervisors and individuators in the ongoing KCSC exams being arrested and suspended for allegedly involving in exam practices, the government has allayed fears of compromise and early exposure. Basic Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang says, contrary to media reports, only seven center managers have been suspended. This year, I will assure you, we are good. Dealing with an exclusion of only seven individuals out of 11,000? Really? I'm sure we are doing very well. Speaking at Naivasha Girls Secondary School, Dr. Kipsang said the decision to have double collection of exam papers has played a bigger role in dealing with early exposure of exams with NEC Chief Executive Officer David Njengere dismissing claims of any leakage in the ongoing KCSC exams. This time there is no motivation because what would motivate you? you you've picked your paper at one o'clock, you arrive in school uh, quarter to two, the exam is starting at two o'clock, the other one you pick at seven, you arrive in school quarter to eight. Even if you try to open it, you'll be confusing your student. The Ministry of ICT has come in to make sure that those social media sites, they have made sure that nothing is happening there. So I can tell you with absolute confidence that since Monday, we have not had a single case of early exposure. Jengere further pointed out that the decision to vary and change exam timetable is meant to relieve candidates of unnecessary pressure when at the same time serving to seal any loopholes that have for long been taken advantage of by fake exam paper traffickers. They, this time they have been neutralized. If you are able to go to some of their sites, they are totally frustrated because they cannot get anything. Previously since 2016, the timetable only allowed one hour in between the first session and second session. Now this time round, the kids finish the first session at around 10 and they can relax until 2 in the afternoon. So it's a big advantage also to our candidates that they have enough time to finish the first session, take their lunch, relax and prepare for the afternoon session. Meanwhile, the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education KCP examination results will be released by the end of this month with Form 1 placement set to take place before Christmas. We have started uh, marking KCP so that we can be able to release these results in good time to allow us to place our children in schools so that as they go into Christmas, as they do then all the celebrations that they are there, they are aware that they have uh, responsibilities to take care of in January. Because they will have known the schools their kids have been placed, what their fees expectations are. Shadrach Miti, KT News. So now the northern part of Kenya is faced with an array of challenges from drought, floods, uh, famine, um, insecurity and others. Now, despite all this, there are men and women standing tall 